You're walking late at night somewhere in Birmingham in a very dark alley, and you see a man <coughs> under a bright light, and he's looking for his keys. And so you ask him what's happened, and the man says, I've lost my keys. And so you help this man looking around for a while. And after you know, a good while, you haven't found the keys, and you more or less search the entire area. You ask him, you know, are, I don't want to, sorry to bother you, sir, but are you sure you lost your keys here under the light? He says, well, I have no idea where I lost my keys. Okay. But under the, under the light, I know that it's very, it's the bright, so I can at least see here, right? And that's why he's looking there. And if you, want to, if you think that science can answer all the questions, it's a little bit like this man, right? So you're on a street with lights very bright. Science is a very bright light that shines itself in your laboratory or in other uh, um, scientific environments. And the reason it's so bright is because we limit science really to very specific kinds of questions. But all the kind of interesting questions, the important questions, the questions of life, of meaning, of personal knowledge, of relational knowledge, are just a little bit out there in the shadows, and they're a little bit harder to find. And so we need to think about other ways of thinking about them and, and, and finding them.